is Elmer Bueller. I'm 94 years old. Back in 1941, it was my job to drive Woody Guthrie around the Northwest and show him the sights so that he would be oriented on what the great Oregon country was like. I took uh, Woody Guthrie to his probably only public appearance at the Dayton Grange in Yamhill County. Uh, and it was an open meeting because uh, the general public was invited and it was an overflow crowd to hear Woody not talk about economics, but he was there mostly to play his music. And I had, when I introduced him to the group, I said he's here to help write songs for our new film, Roll On Columbia. And uh, so I thought he should be acquainted with real, honest to goodness farm people. So I took him to a hop yard at Pratham. I took him to Morton Tompkins Peach Orchard on Grand Island. I took him to Mr. Walter's Apple Orchard in Spook River. We're going to go to the Native American village known as Salila Falls. He gets back, gets his place in the back seat, and he's already start playing the guitar. He's he's working on some chords or something. But he but he he must have taken every place he went. He he made notes and, and wrote down certain things that he was impressed with or something that he thought he should follow through. So then when we got to Salila Falls, I said, well now Woody, you can have as much time as you want because we have, we have plenty of time. So the Indians were on their platform dipping for salmon. Thank you. 
was a beautiful sunny day in May and Lost Lake was only a short distance away. So I said, Woody, I want to take you to a beautiful place that I saw for the first time way back in 1923 when the road was not paved and now you got a paved road. So we got up there and he saw that majestic view of Mount Hood with Lost Lake in front of it. And he, he was probably 10 or 12 paces in front of me. And I heard him say, this has to be paradise. I've never seen anything so beautiful. And it was so quiet. There wasn't a soul around. There was not, the, for, the Forest Service hadn't yet manned that campground. So there's just the two of us there. And he stood there in awe for several minutes and then made those remarks about, this must be paradise. So uh, I'm sure that he was inspired by that because it, it was a beautiful day and a beautiful sight. Well, I said, here's the place where I usually stop. And he looked at it, he said, that's just the place I want to be. I like these bar stools. And he said, uh, uh, let's see if we can get th three stools together. And he, and I said, well, uh, why do we need three? And he said, oh, I take my gu guitar with me. I don't leave it in the car. And I, I told him we could lock it up. That, that satisfy him. So I said, okay, bring it, we'll have it along. So we, we got three bar stools and the middle one, he tied the, with a leather thong, he tied it up so, so it was an upright position. And I sat on one side and he sat on the other side. And, uh, and of course the natives were, there was a few natives in there eating and he had that Oklahoma accent and uh, oh I heard somebody say must be another victim from the dust bowl <laughs> and, and, and uh, so uh, anyhow after we got through eating I said well there's a little country hotel here and the reason why I stopped there is because there's always someone on duty there was a, a nice new motel a little bit south of there but I said, if you don't mind, well, it's all right with me. And it was a, the building still stands. It's, it's, it, it's probably 150 years old. So he, uh, he had a guitar in there and uh, we registered. And uh, there was a, a table and some chairs there. He just sat down and started plucking on his guitar. And first thing you know, he was, Called, was playing folk music and I don't suppose at that time there was over three or four hundred people that lived in Arlington. First thing you know they came in off the street and they got in there and they stood by the doorway and everybody else and, and he made quite a hit with them. And so uh, I told the, the proprietor that when we registered him we were with Barnesville Power so he gave us a special rate and uh, told about why he was here. He's going to write some songs for us.